Hi everyone, lastly we talk about uh, how to read an image and how to show it in a window like in this example and in this video we will talk about the image filtering uh, as I said in the first video I am following this plan in image filtering why we using filters before starting because um, in every uh, image processing applications before starting the real job we are doing in code site we should filtering the images I mean we should pre-processing the images why we need pre-process or why we need filtering because every image has noises inside like uh, small parts we don't uh, wanna deal or some unnecessary um, noises inside we don't wanna deal so we should filtering those things before starting our real functions for me pre-processing is the most important part most important step of image processing because if you um, if you prepare your image very well at the beginning before processing before real processing if you prepare your image really well it will help you uh, in the future much you cannot imagine how helpful it is many people having have problem in their applications cause of just not uh, making really good filtering so that's why we need filters in image processing today uh, I will not talk about all in here I will just talk about bilateral filter and guys symbolur median blur as in the this PowerPoint you see uh, this, uh, there are some simple comparison in here between them we will talk about this at the end oh, actually I added these two also but I will talk about them uh, when we at the end so first of all let's talk about bilateral filter in C++ here is the design how we using this filter how we using this function um, inside we are giving simply source image then output second one which one we wanna get giving then this D is the diameter mm, diameter I mean let me show him from here for example when you zoomed uh, for this pixel if we giving two diameter it will consider this rectangle this rectangle and deal with this uh, with these uh, pixels for processing about that then sigma color and sigma space these are the space sigmas uh, which the function actually using in here if people really wanna um, interested about this mat, mat site they can deal but nobody really knows these functions and I also don't know actually because you don't need to invent the hill again these are many math in above uh, in background uh, in my opinion you don't really need to know these all I also don't know as I said this Sigma is the some uh, parameter inside of this equation in background so just you should know when uh, which parameter values you should give them and when you should give them if you know that I think it's enough and this border type also not important even always using border default is okay so in code side how are we using this actually let's define as for example the mat for output actually at the beginning let's say lateral image then calling the function in this function is in the this header file so don't forget to adding this header and calling the bilateral filter and our source is image you want is in the output bilateral image and diameter uh, how you will choose for example diameter if you choose diameter small 
it means it will deal with the uh, small uh, closer very closer pixels and if you make it longer it will also deal with the uh, more distance uh, to the center pixels if you have a colorful image it's better choosing your diameter small because um, colorful if if some small regions are different color and close to it uh, also different color if you make your diameter bigger it will affect the neighbors much it will be affected by the neighbors much so in colorful images use small diameter in not very colorful images use the longer diameter bigger bigger diameter so for example my image uh, not really much colorful let's choose 15 then sigma color as also in the documenta documentation they are suggesting choose the that between 10 and 15 150 so this is according to experiences they are saying if you, you uh, choose longer than this it will have a big effect if you choosing more smaller than 10 it will less effect so, so let's choose the middle middle one and second sigma space not really affecting actually according to my experiences so don't need to change it much just keep what 560 something like that and also border type not important after doing this let's see our images let's say bilateral and bilateral image let's see the results this is input this is our bilateral filter um let's do all then talk about the comparison and talk about the results in here then gaussian field gaussian symbolar i uh, like in bilateral input the output and size is kernel size uh, similar to distance center distance you just choosing kernel rectangle you choosing here like that and this sigma x and sigma y is also from the equation uh, again as i said if you are really interested you can go to check the math in background but uh, i i don't know also i don't need to know what's in in the background happening in the equation this is simply like that. Let's checking median blur also. Median blur uh, in here source, destination, and kernel size. In in median blur, actually doing a simple thing, very simple thing. Median, as you can understand from the name also, it's just averaging. If you choose the kernel size one, it means just this rectangle as I showed now. In here. For this pixel, just um, summing all this and taking average, and here anymore the average of this rectangle. Just averaging actually, medium blur doing. Let's implement these two. Uh, before implementing, let's make here Gaussian image. These are the output we wanna median image and here let's implement them guy symbol in, in input it image output it this and kernel size let's say similar to our bilateral let's say 15 to 15 and the other is zero is okay from equation no need to specify that also median blur input is image output is median image and let's say again this one is 15 then showing these results in with im show median is median image then gaussian is gaussian image then let's see the results 
These are the results. Now let's talk about the results, the most important one. When we opened PowerPoint, we are making comparison. These are I didn't talk and these places empty because blur and box filter is not used general. People not choosing this to use. The reason is clearly they are not useful. They are old uh, and old style. Uh, also medium blur is just like summing of these two equation. So I didn't list them. Also I will not talk about these two from the list in here. In this list I will not talk about box filter and the, and the blur one because of I also don't use these are and no need to know. This tree is important for us. Bilateral filter is, as I said, edge uh, edge preserving smoothing and guy similar medium blur non edge preserving smoothing. What I mean by saying this, let's talk about the results. Here is our input image, and in input image, as you can see. Uh, in median, totally don't care about the edges. Edge mean, for example, this shadow has an edge in here. For example, in this input image, these leaves has edge. I mean the the um, counter sur uh, surrounding them. In this leaves surrounding counters, for example, in median blur gone because median blur don't care about the edges. They just averaging, as I said. They just coming here and checking the kernel size and just summing them, averaging and done. Don't care about the edges. Guy symbolur more better than median and but still don't care about the edges and it's just using Gaussian model, which is a mathematic about mathematic, uh, not directly um, averaging but doing some more better mathematical operation in background. Bilateral filter is the advanced one and it really care about the edges. It does that's why the name also if you see in here the name of function bilateral filter not blur but these are guy symbol and median blur. They are not uh, they are actually the name also including blur. Their job also making the images blur but Bilateral is inside also function inside also including filter so not really blurring and the leaf of this plant also can be seen in here uh, not clearly but still not uh, losing that edges why now uh, this contour losing uh, in some application like this Im image just an example many uh, many images different images you will deal with and if you Need if you don't want to lose this Detail for example, this can be different things in your site. You don't want to lose this uh, These three leaves for example or other other things inside of your image uh, Maybe bilateral filter will be more better for you, but in in the other side, if you don't really need this and these or other small things, you just need this bigger one. So maybe better using medium filter for you. Nonlinear, linear, linear. Um, this is about mathematics side. Linear functions working more quickly. Nonlinear functions little slowly comparing to linear one. Also, I talk about here about speed. Bilateral filter really slow. Uh, don't forget this in the life. It's always same. If something valuable, if something good, it's generally taking cost. A uh, little expensive. In image processing side, expensive means taking long time. Bilateral filter also taking long time comparing to guy symbol and medium blur. Also, this two generally using for noise reducing 
the small thing but medium blur not really noise reducing it doesn't care about noise it just averaging when it's useful uh, to use these things useful keep radius small I mean um, keep radius small but in colorful images not at all guys in blur generally useful people are choosing this much because this is very slow this is very bad so general people choosing much guys in blur also medium blur also good but in some cases but don't make the radius of medium much generally it's better making it small also don't give it uh, even numbers it's working with odd numbers as I as you see I took error in here like this um, maybe a little complicated I explained in this video but if I wanna summarize bilateral is really good really better to use I advise you using this in many cases but it's just taking long time this is the most disadvantage of this um, median also good if you using in small radius as you see I changed now to treat it's also good to use um, also faster than these two this is also big advantage of this function medium function if you don't need to deal with small pieces use medium filter Gaussian is middle of these two and I also using much Gaussian in applications so you can also choose Gaussian Gaussian blur in many cases yeah generally these two three functions these three filters is the main filters in in OpenCV uh, main filter function of OpenCV in this list we just talked today about those in the next videos we will continue from this list for this video enough I think little longer also thanks for listening See you in the next videos.